Several students from the Colorado School of Mines are putting their engineering skills to the test against the rest of the world. Right now, they're in Morocco, taking part in the Solar Decathlon Africa, a competition to design, build, and operate a full-sized solar-powered home. Our Connor McHugh met with one of the students who stayed back here in Colorado. Connor, how did they prepare for all this? Well, Kathy, the team is called Interhouse, and some of those students a couple years ago actually helped build this tiny house that is powered by solar energy. They say they were able to take the lessons learned from this thing, and they're able to now apply it across the world on a bigger scale. More than 5,000 miles away in Morocco, the clock is ticking for this group of students from the Colorado School of Mines. They only have nine more days to transform this site into a meticulously designed solar-powered home. It's using a lot of uh, green thinking and a lot of advanced technologies in a very small package. It's all part of the Solar Decathlon Africa. The students will not only design and build a sustainable home alongside Moroccan students, they'll also put it to the test. A lot of times we just like show the judges like this is the technology we're using in the house, this is the design of our house, these are the features we're going to incorporate in. John McDowell didn't make the trip, but played a big part in the design and preparation, which included building and shipping some materials across the world. The experience of being able to try to pull something off on a really big scale, like no like senior capstone project really is kind of of this magnitude where you're designing and then building in a completely foreign country. The competition part lasts for 20 days. With a win, the team could bring home cash, pride, and new opportunities for future students. We're hoping that we do a really good job uh, at competition so that we can show minds that this is maybe something worth pursuing and continuing uh, for years to come. Now, McDowell says that that structure will actually stay in Morocco. It won't be coming back here to campus. It will likely become a house or some kind of office building. We are live tonight in Golden. Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.